Hey, welcome back to Gaming Wisconsin. We, today we're trying out a beer from the Tall Grass Brewing Company. It's a key lime beer, key lime pie, more specifically. Um, key lime pie, for people that don't know me, it's actually my favorite dessert. I don't know. Other than ice cream. And as you can see, I'm quite fat, so I like my desserts. So yeah, let's pour this son of a bitch in. I'm normally not one for fruity beer. Um, so that's not really my thing, but I've had a couple of these before, and I mean, for fuck's sake, it's my favorite dessert, so kind of have to do it, I guess. That was a shit pour. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I have beaten this game before, so we're going to see if I can beat it today. Haven't done one of these in a long time. I've actually been kind of uh, doing Super Nintendo reviews for quite a while here. So the whole thing is try to collect coins, kill things, get power-ups. Uh, wizard stole your girl and turned you into a monkey, so we got to do something about that. Ooh, I just got hit. It's no good. Okay. Oh, I got my helmet. So the helmet makes you, like, invincible. It's, uh, it's quite awesome. So just run into everything when you have the helmet on. It's probably actually quite hard to get past this part if you don't have it. I'll still have it, so whatever. So now I have fire breath. So you pick up a bunch of... Um, oh shit. Ah. Okay. Ah. We're back. We're back. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Okay, so I forgot you can also jump on enemies. So it's a little like Mario in that way. Um... Oh yeah, shit. I forgot you also have to jump on enemies in order to get some uh, some of those power-ups. <sighs> oh shit, what the fuck? No. <laughs> oh god. So there's one kind of like awesome caveat to playing with two players. Is you can kind of see where your partner fucks up. Come on now. Alright, so now I got the bunny things. The bunny feet. Damn it. <laughs> so this isn't like the hardest game ever. It's just uh, like, sort of trial and error. Okay, here's going to be this guy. We have the football helmet, so we're just gonna try to see if we can. There we go. So we beat the first boss. I have no idea what the hell that thing was, but we got a one up. Toki's happy. I'm happy. Let's drink some key lime beer. Ooh. Is a unique flavor. Uh, I'm going to keep this. So, this is like a I don't want to call it a cute em up. Or, yeah, cute em up, which is that kind of cutesy style of 
beat em up slash platforming game on Nintendo. It's kind of like that. Um, you know, it reminds me of like Jackie Chan's action kung fu in a way. Or it's kind of adorable. It has pretty good music. There's nothing really like glaringly wrong with it or anything. Oh fuck. But it's definitely a trial and error game. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grab this and see if we can beat this. Remember this game wasn't really the, the hardest. Well, it wasn't really the easiest either. It's it's one of those in betweeny type games where you can totally beat it on your first try if you're pretty good, but uh, it'll give you a run for your money. So here, this boss is pretty easy. This level's really short too. I'd like to see somebody speedrun this game. Probably only take them like 15 minutes. Fuck. There, I'll just... I'll just be way out here. This is what I was trying to do before, and then I got turned around. There we go. We got him. I've used a couple lives, but... Oh, that isn't even that big. Okay. Get some some items here. Every fifty thousand points, you do get one up. Read that in the manual. Uh, you gotta take a look at the manual too. Um, Toki's totally. He's got that weird look where you can just tell he's just been smoking it up pretty hard. Like his eyeballs are just fucking shot. Oh god damn it! There's a fucking ghost. Okay, here's a pause. So you see how they have a meter there? So it kind of tells you like, how close, ooh, how close it is to death, and we're just gonna die. There, this. Like, all these guys should actually be pretty easy, but... Uh, what's happening? Okay. We got him. We got him. There's only six stages in the game. Shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, a lot of things I've been up to recently, obviously I haven't done one of these in forever. Like, I can't even remember what the last one was. I really can't. <laughs> but I've just been doing reviews. I've always wanted to do reviews growing up, so I finally just kind of had the time and... We're in editing a little bit better. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. I've um, been working with uh, Dave and Kyle on the Retro Replay Roundtables, which are always a blast to do. And this game might be on our next one. Spoilers. So that's why I'm trying to play it too. I've beaten this before, but, uh, you know, it's so long ago that uh, I feel like I have to do it again. Like, it's not fresh in my mind. Uh, I think we were supposed to do our, our round table like kind of long ago. I'm gonna try to get this. Ah, oh, shit. There. Yeah, we were supposed to do it a while ago, and I don't know, like, everyone's just kind of busy. I'm busy. Kyle, Dave, we're all busy, and, um,. The, the next one covers games that aren't short either. Like, they're pretty long. So this one's gonna be a little meatier, I think, than previous ones. Fuck. This has a really weird platforming uh, mechanic where it's just... Like, you stop dead in your tracks when you hit a platform, but it doesn't feel like you will. If that makes any sense. 
So you kind of have to play this game to understand what the controls are like. It's it's a little different. It's not like bad. It's just weird. God damn! Die, dude. There we go. So those are little like sub bosses. Nothing too exciting. Uh, the end levels of the game are actually pretty tough. You know, it takes a little, takes a little skill, it takes a little patience. That's why uh, we're gonna see if I can beat this today. Fuck. I mean, that's not looking very good. So I mean, really, I I should be able to jump up and just snag that, but I gotta basically jump up on somebody. Um, not the easiest thing to do in this game. Ooh. So the only thing that sucks is gaming or gaming over will totally take uh, that like extra heart that I have. Which is kind of like an earned heart, you know? <laughs> oh no. Ah, fuck's sake. Oh shit. So I just have to give these things, I think, a little like less respect. Okay. We're going. We're getting there. So I'm hoping to get back to some of these every now and then. Um, I just need to beat more like NES games and Sega. And I need to kind of get back on that train a little bit. Look at this. It's like a giant poop. And he burps. Die! The turd melted! Nah. Cool. Well, not bad. Really on our last three stages, so... Like I said, this game's short. It's just not... It's not very easy when you don't know the patterns and everything. So yeah, this is an ice level, but it doesn't really have the ice level mechanics that like every Nintendo game does. It's pretty, it's pretty chill. Other than the disappearing blocks that are kind of normal in in these levels, but I'm trying to get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Son of a bitch. There. You go. Motherfucker. Alright, so we got the bunny shoes. We're rocking. We're rolling. We kill all these guys, get a bunch of coins. I think it's 50 coins to get to another life. Jesus, fuck. That was quick. Oh, I forgot these guys are kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Alright, we're good. We're good. I get that, uh... Ooh, can I get the football mask? I guess we'll see. Got it. Alright. Oh, and the key. So now we're just gonna race. We got the football. We're good. Turn into everything. Just get points. 
Shit, I don't even get points in this. Come on. Come on. Yeah, some of the enemies, you know, debatably have too many hit points in this game. <laughs> Okay, it's coming up here. It's gotta be a boss. Oh, shoot. I think I got him. I think I got him. We're good. So the key lime pie beer. If you, if you find this, the tall grass key lime pie beer. Yeah. If you like lime and you like beer, it's just an ale. It's not like a crazy IPA or some really fucked up porter. I had a jalapeno porter once. Um, maybe up there with the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Um, seriously, just oh. Imagine like hot steamy diarrhea, and that's what that's what it tasted like. Oh damn! Fucked me up. Whew! That's tough. Oh shoot! Like, the one thing I'm kind of not a huge fan of, like, so the music is fine, it just doesn't really change much. <laughs> like, it kind of just sounds like it's the same track over and over. Alright, there we go. So you can still fall in the death pits when you have the football, but everything else is just kind of your giant bitch, so... The football helmet's kind of like the cheapest item ever. I like, don't even know why they put it in this game. Shoot, I guess I actually probably needed that. No, yeah, whatever. Okay, what? Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright, so this one I definitely want. There we go. I kill that. So these are like the annoying things in Metroid. So instead of like space shrimp, it's just regular shrimp. So you don't find many, like, health ups at all in this game. It's pretty limited. So it's kind of like what you see is what you get. Okay, what can we make happen here? Oof, that was close. Probably should have gotten that power up, because, yeah. Let's see, here's the boss. So this is apparently a dude that was in the beginning of the game. According to the instructions. Wait, what? Oh. 
Huh? What are you from, grabby hand? Ah. I'm just gonna take a damage. And I'm just gonna sit here and just just rail on this thing. There we go. We're good. So this is the last stage. And it's a bitch. It is a bitch. The Golden Palace. This is where you're going to find that wizard and turned your... Well, he stole your chick and turned you into an ape. So this has some really obnoxious um, platforming. <laughs> Shit. And you'll see, there's a. They put a cart level in this game, but the the mechanics of this platforming is really strange. And then there's these little devil guys, like, fucking everywhere. Alright, so I got another wife, looks like. Gotta watch out for those. I have no idea where they are. So these are totally like the wizards from Zelda. Shoot, like, the same wave. So I'm just gonna play it safe. I don't know this game that much just to run through it. So these dudes take forever. But. Jesus Christ. So you definitely want to kill those guys before they start firing off at you. That's fine. So right here, th this is it. This is the like, what the fuck part of the game. The mechanic, if you jump, your dude just flies and you have absolutely no control over him at all in the air. So, this is where a lot of people just kind of like rage quit this game. I'm going to try my best. It's not easy. You just have to jump. Okay. I didn't get the helmet, which kind of sucks. Ah, oh, shit. Got hit. So, this is just jump. One more. And that's another tough part of this. Like that jump right there is such a bitch. Now you can, and I might as well, you can get a free one up if you just kind of remember it's there. I'm gonna try to grab that this time. So like, right here, I'm just gonna take it. Cause even though it cost me like one hit point, I mean, whatever. So I made the big jump. Oh shit, all right. Yeah, you wanna keep the football. <laughs> you don't want the jump shoes, they don't do anything for you. I'm pro I only got one one hit left. So we, this is the wizard. He 
Yeah. Alright. I got to him with full health this time. <laughs> see if I can put up a little bit of a better fight. Just beat the final boss of Toki! Watch a cool little cutscene, drink the rest from real real. We're a human! And we have a babe! Yes! I guess that, okay. So that's Toki. It's one of those lesser known title games. I think it's around 25 bucks. I kind of compare it, or compare it to Kiwi Craze. Which is also by Taito. Barely anyone knows about it. It's still 25 bucks, and it's a fun little game. So, honestly, if you can find it, and I haven't found a copy in the wild in forever. This is actually my buddy's copy, so if you can find a copy out there, pick it up. It's a fun, short game. The end boss is actually kind of hard, but if you are to play this straight through, it'd probably take you 20 minutes. It's a nice little fun thing. Um, and, excuse me. If you end up going to your grocery store or something and you find the Tall Grass Brewing Company Key Lime Pie Beer. If you like lime, it is maybe the strongest lime taste out of any beer I've ever actually had. Um, it's kind of like Key Lime Pie, like a super sour one, super tart one. If that's your thing, pick it up. If not, I definitely avoid it. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a good one.